these two boys are out their mind. I guess they thought it was fun to go around killing people. I guess for fun or whatever the case might be, they are two white boys. Man, I just don't get what the hell they be thinking in their head. I don't know. Did they think that they was going to get away with it? Did they think they was going to become famous? That's what they wanted to become famous. Idolizing crazy people like Ted Bundy and the Boston Strangler, I think it was. Yeah, and John Wayne Gacy, too. Shoot. But I don't know. People are just doing the craziest shit. A big, dark house out in the middle of nowhere. How perfect can you get? Tonight on the all-new story of Cassie Jo Stoddard, a high school student from Pocatello. And well-liked student, 16-year-old Cassie Jo Stoddard. While Cassie was social, she never let that get in the way of her schoolwork. She was a straight-A student who shied away from any partying, alcohol, or drugs, but still kept her sense of humor and was friendly to all students spanning the broad spectrum in Tori Adamchik. Brian had relocated from Utah to the small town. This guy right here talks about these two crazy ass little white boys doing crazy shit. So they still got some of the videos on YouTube. Y'all should be able to Ryan and whatever the hell the other person named me, Ted, Tori. Yo, so y'all should be able to look it up yourself. They say that they took most of the videos of the gory, bloody type stuff off. But if you look up the transcripts, transcripts, you can find all the information you need. So y'all should actually watch it. I don't understand how the parents did not pay attention that their kids was a little bit off and needed some fucking type of help. So I don't understand why the parents didn't do something and why the parents didn't notice the kids a little bit off in which with a lot of these kids there are distance against parents and other people they can stay in their room they probably only have one friend that right there are signs so please please parents take care and watch out and Pay attention to your kids. If they hurting or if they being bullied or other things. You really need to pay attention to that because you do not want your child to go to jail because they think it's fun to go slice up or kill or stab other people. Please pay attention to your kids and watch them. The, the fucking bomber, one of them motherfuckers, they was a strange kid also. Also, they think it's fun and they wanted to be famous. Well, by God, they are famous for what they did. So, you need to pay attention to your kids. Supposed to happen tonight. Yeah, wait. First kill done and keep going. She's going to die. It was Friday, September. People know it's the wrong thing. Hell, hell. You restrict somebody from it, they're going to want it more. What the hell? Not normal people, crazy people do. Not normal. Our first victim is going to be Cassie Stoddard. She's going to be alone in a big, dark house out in the middle of nowhere. How perfect can you get? I, I mean, like, holy shit, dude. I'm horny just thinking about it. Hell yeah. I was 9.50, September 22nd, Serious something wrong with these people. We know there's these boys. There, there's mm -hmm. lots of places to hide. I unlocked the back doors. He unlocked door. the back doors. Now we're just gonna wait. I just killed Cassie. We just left her house. This is not a fucking joke. I'm what the I hell? stabbed her in the throat and I saw her lifeless body just I disappear. Dude, oh I just killed God. Cassie. Oh, oh, fuck. That felt like a damn real. Uh, I mean, we'll buy so fast. Shut the fuck up. We gotta get our action. Okay. 
The girl who saw them as friends and damning video evidence. All this and more. Of the girlfriend that was friends with their friend. And so they decided to kill her out of jealousy. That is just completely crazy. What do y'all come up with this shit? Sentencing in this matter on the first degree murder charge is not discretionary. Under the law of the state of New Hampshire, you are sentenced to the New Hampshire State Prison for the first degree murder charge uh, in 10S231, alleging that you murdered Kimberly Cates purposely. You are sentenced to New Hampshire State Prison where you will remain incarcerated for life without any possibility of parole. In reaching a discretionary decision on the remaining charges, I consider a number of factors. I consider the nature and the circumstances of your crimes. I consider the statement made here today by Mr. Cates. I consider uh, the statements made and the evidence presented in this courtroom. Uh, and I also consider whether there are any aggravating or mitigating factors. There are no mitigating factors in this case. The aggravating factors out of respect for David and J.B. Cates who are present in this courtroom, I am not going to go into the bottomless aggravating factors that exist in this case, but I believe the record will thoroughly support my belief that infinity is not If you feel to free to watch you. the whole thing. Accordingly, you are sentenced on the remaining convictions to the maximum penalty allowed by law to be served consecutively. You are sentenced as follows in 10S231 to the New Hampshire State Prison for life without parole. The sentence is to be served as follows. Stand committed, commencing immediately. Pretrial confinement credit is 536 days. You are to participate meaningfully and complete any counseling, treatment, and educational programs as directed by the <laughs> correctional authority. You are to be of good behavior and comply with all the terms of this sentence. Do you understand the terms of this sentence? All right, Mama, go back in here. In 10 S232, this is the attempted murder charge. You are sentenced to the New Hampshire State Prison for not more than life, nor less than 50 years. There is added to the minimum sentence hey. a disciplinary period equal to 150 days for each year of the minimum term of your sentence to be prorated for any part of the year. The sentence is to be served as follows.